Jacob Brown. Thanks for joining me, mate, and welcome to the Scotland setup. How's things? Thank you. Yeah, it's good. Um, a bit surreal at the minute. I don't think it's really sunken in yet. Um, Travelled yesterday and met, met all the lads, well, most of the lads, and then today was the first training set. well, like training session. And, yeah. yeah, it's been a whirlwind. I'm sure you were mentioning that you didn't get much notice as well when you found out it was a couple of days and boom, you're in the squad. Yeah, so I actually, I only found out the day before the squad was announced that I was going to be in it. Um, the gaffer rang me um, the day before. I, my agents told me that he was going to ring and then from then he rang, had the, a, a chat with him and then that was it, it was announced. How do you feel at that point? Because I know you were obviously on the brink of getting called up to the 21s a couple of years ago. That came, that didn't come through that and you must have felt quite disappointed at that time. But to then see the other side of this and the positive and the whirlwind day that came with that must have been amazing. Yeah, definitely. Like when um, I thought I was going to be announcing the under 21s team, it was a great moment for me at the time. And then when it was announced and I wasn't in the team, I was disappointed obviously and then so now I've, that was a few years ago, so I've just kept working hard and hope the opportunity would come. And then now to actually, to be here, it, it's unreal, yeah. So all plans, put in the bin <laughs> and away in Scotland, yeah. Yeah, so. pretty much. <laughs> I know, because it would have been your, your partner's birthday, is that right? Yeah, so her birthday is just um, just after we get back, but we had a few meals and stuff, <laughs> but, but obviously she, she was buzzing for me when, when we found out, yeah. Speaking of family, uh, it must have been an incredibly proud moment for them. Uh, how was that? Yeah, um, like when I, when I found out, obviously, um, they were all the first people that I, I managed to ring and obviously my mum being from Glasgow she was like over the moon for me and like a lot of my family were in tears like when when they found out because it's obviously such a big a big moment for me and everyone in my family and around me um, so yeah everyone's just really proud. Club level as well Stephen Fletcher obviously a couple of teammates down there that have put in a good word about you and big Fletcher was, was saying good things. Yeah Fletcher said a lot of um, good things about me and he, he's just a top guy and I think playing with him has like helped my performance massively because he's such a good player and he's got a lot of experience like like you guys will know. Um, and he's just someone that I like look up to and try and get learn as much as I can from him on and off the pitch. So he's a top guy, yeah. yeah did he say what to expect coming away here? Any of the characters to look out for? <laughs> nah, he, nah, he just said that everyone's um, like they're all great lads and they'll uh, help you settle in really quick. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. How do you put it into words what it means to you when you get a moment like this in your career? Because it is such a huge moment on the pitch, but off it like you've talked about with your family. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to put it into words because especially for me, this is brand new, like nothing like this has ever happened. Um, so I, I can't actually explain the feeling, it's just so I'm looking forward to experiencing it and I'm, I'm enjoying it. And we've not really even touched on the games coming up and that's obviously what all your folks will be on now. First and foremost, I'm sure, impressing on the training pitch to the coaching staff, the manager and then focusing on Moldova. Yeah, definitely. I think like now that I'm here, I just want to work hard, um, try and impress on, on the training pitch and settle in with the lads and then um, hopefully if I, if I do get an opportunity, just give it all I've got. Yeah, and after that it'll be a game at Hamden against Denmark in front of a packed house. How, how much <laughs> are you looking forward to that? Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, buzzing for that. Obviously I've seen like, a lot of the, the atmosphere in, in the other games uh, at home and if I'm, like, obviously if I was to be involved in that, it'd just be an unreal experience. Yeah, of course. And just one I want to ask you about, we've heard like, that, uh, on your wedding day, of course, you, you wore a kilt. Not my wedding day. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Obviously, was it, it was my mum and dad's. Oh, your um, mum and dad's yeah. wedding day, there we go. So, um, I'm, I'm not married. Oh, um, there we go. See, I thought you were a bit yeah, married. Yeah, no, it's... Um, <laughs> so this my, is how the story is my, my mum and dad's um, wedding day. I was I was four at the time and I, yeah, I was wearing a kilt. So. <laughs> well, I guess, Jacob, one last final thought as we're here. I think of building up to the games. You've met a few of the boys you touched on. I guess now just to try to soak everything up. Yeah, definitely. Like the like the lads have made me feel welcome from uh, the minute I've met them, and obviously it's only been a couple of days, but I'll get to know them a bit more. And um, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to it. Jacob, appreciate the time. That's Thanks awesome. a lot, mate. Thank you.